What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Free Event, this time of episode 7. Last night was an absolutely brilliant episode, one of the best episodes yet in my opinion. Uh, we had a beautiful animated fight scene with the dragon and Stark. Um, Stark doing it all himself and a uh, hell of a job he did do as well. Uh, we then went to this, um, I, I forget what it's called, but we're trying to pass through a gate. Uh, we ultimately ended up kind of being respected uh, Free Event for her past kind of ventures and such. So um, that's all kind of sorted. But like seeing Fern and Stark kind of grow a little bit closer together that's actually quite nice uh, apparently there was a joke i missed with some ice cream but um, I'm, I'm still missing that <laughs> uh, looking forward to seeing what we've got today though uh, let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's hop right into episode seven. Oh yeah we did get that um that book from the dragon as well grimoire The Late Riser. Or maybe not this time. Surely this is incentive to keep doing this. To keep waking up early. I guess it's not enough. But a pretty nice little wake up. Wake up by a little butterfly and then... It's a nice little welcome. But yeah, I think we did hear a couple of episodes ago that Lama was her master, I think. We did see her. We see her in the opening here as well, I think. Um, yeah, she did actually manage to find that. Again, it's been a few weeks. Uh, I think she did manage to find that, that kind of original work. But yeah, we did hear about a load of fakes being out there. This is her, isn't it? Blama. Still don't know who that is. <laughs> I think it was the the kind of um ghost episode where those where those beings where those monsters kind of took the shape of someone in your past obviously she saw uh what's his name hemel then but there was a bit of a flashback to flammer i think maybe i'm just getting things mixed up Oh, that's not going to solve the cause of the problem, is it?
There's a lot of rocks to clean up, aren't there? This is going to take a, a long time. <laughs> oh, it's not being that bad. I think it's more you. That's fair. It's a bit cold. I do like that now. I think she's one of those people you warm up to a lot as time goes on. Do you know more about her? It's quite uh match is quite hard to get to know and stuff. It was quite cold to start in the beginning. And still is. To a degree. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Bloody hell. That kind of sucks. Okay, when they show stuff like that, you just really want to just like go back in time and, and watch that whole scene. Just watch how that played out. Bit of a tease, really. Although, again, I think we've got, just like we saw with the dragon, we've got plenty of stuff similar to look forward to. You, <laughs> you. But yeah, I understand. He's also wanting them to be remembered as well. But he could at least have like the others in there <laughs> as part of the statue. It'd take a long time, I imagine, but I doubt they'd be quite as picky on what they look like. Yeah, so, it, so I guess that's as his like leaving this legacy and such. Almost like his kind of what the others, the other two left him, left him, sorry, left Freya and an apprentice. He left this kind of legacy for them, I guess. Although they've created their own legacy, so it's kind of wrong to say that, but he kind of, he's making it last, if you know what I'm saying? He's making sure it's imprinted on this world. I think that was the intention. I think that was the intention. So it was a bit of a shame when we saw a few episodes ago with his statue being all mouldy. <laughs> we did clean up, which was nice. In his hometown. Engoku. So we're still 28 years after. Okay. Not too much time has passed in the last few episodes. Kind of glad about. It was passing really quite quickly.
demons. There. Oh, I've, I think I might have seen these guys in like a trailer or something. Or like, I think it might have been a... It might have been a character kind of um, voice actor reveal or something of the like. Lugna. Peace on Vise, who are demons. Ah. Is that? <laughs> I don't see that. Mm -hmm. Again, where are you seeing that? <laughs> and it just looks like a normal look to me. Ah, just like that, hey? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not too long for her. It's a long time, though. Bloody hell. She didn't even actually do anything. Sorry about that, I just got a message. Um, I didn't quite catch the name of who they're speaking about here. Oh, boy, hold on. Apologies about that. Pretty interesting situation going on right here, though. Free Ren saying that these demons can't be communicated with, you can't actually side with them and such. She's, been, she's had a lot of experience, so Aura of Guillotine. You'd expect that to be right. Seven sages. Suing. I agree. Sure, that's just a shine of shine, <laughs> a sign of weakness, right? Would, would now just be the best time to just end those demons? Can't say I have, but it certainly is an interesting. What is going on today? Certainly, <laughs> but certainly is an interesting point. Is it because they are what they eat to a certain degree? Yeah, it kind of seems that way. Kind of seems like killing these demons is good for everyone, including the demon.
I, again, I don't know the rules, but it kind of seems that way. It kind of seems like they their preferred meal as humans. I'd get your door away from her. I would get your daughter away from her. Mm. I got a feeling this is ending badly. I don't disagree with the message. I mean, yeah, you should. People should be allowed to atone for certain stuff. Not all things. Oh, I, I don't think eating another person would be one of those things, personally. <laughs> but um, I guess they are doing that. And yeah, there is. It does seem like these, it is intrinsic to these demons to be evil, eat humans. Maybe be evil. Be evil is putting it wrong. But again, it seems like it's almost good for them as well because they feel what they've ate and such. No humanity. Lacks compassion. Lacks things that make you human. Why is she a demon? I guess it is magic. I guess it is magic in a fucked up way. So yeah. I feel like yeah, these these emissaries, these um these peace envoys just kill them. Just kill them. They I think it's clear they just wanna lower the humans' defences right now, perhaps. Somehow. No, certainly won't. But we can't just outwardly kill them, can we? Because then they're out, then this place would just imprison us. Bit of a shitty situation right here.
Or even by a demon. Oh, close. Yes. Hey, let's go. So it was a ruse to begin with. Nice. That is one pretty dusty sword, though. Oh, this guy looks like a little bit like Johan Lieber in these shots. Here they are again, those words. He's literally just copied your story. Kill him. Kill him. Is he gonna kill? Is he gonna kill as soon as he's not threatened or? Wow. Come on, man. Follow through. That's magic words. Again. Sometimes you need to be objective and not, not look at words and what people say and look at actions and what's happened and what you know. Again, he literally just copied his story. <laughs> but you did this to my dad. Like these demons have rooms. So is that her that we see in the opening? Three around. Probably. <laughs> she did defeat the Demon King. <laughs> well, not her just alone, but she was part of the group that did. And you, you've got to think that she had a major role in it. Yeah, great episode there, wasn't it? Again, it's quite funny. It's almost like the anti-message of what, what is commonly kind of pranced about today about accepting people no matter what. And and putting your judgments and initial kind of thoughts and such aside. I said this plenty of times. A lot of the time, your initial thoughts and such are actually correct. You've heard this stuff about certain people for certain reasons. It comes from somewhere, like rumors. Rumors come from somewhere. Whether that's someone wanting to deceive or, or what, there's, a, there's an origin to everything like that. Again, a lot of the time, you can't judge a book by its cover, and that's a good message, but also... You can't also, it's easy to deceive people like that. It's easy to take advantage of those people that believe stuff like that. Very interesting. Yeah, 
But yeah, good episode today. Good episode. Looking forward to this uh, this upcoming battle right here. But yeah, I did see these character designs. Um, I think maybe a week ago. Are they going to say it was Free Run that slayed that guard? If if this guy, oh well, we'll see how the fight goes. But Free Run the Slayer sounds like next episode is going to be class. Uh, so yeah, thank guys for watching. Like I said, it's almost like the anti kind of uh, positive message. Uh, funny enough, that we kind of get a lot in our kind of day and age about acceptance and and yeah, just kind of believing people at their first word and not kind of denying them and such uh, i found that quite interesting actually i quite like the stance they took on that um again i'm, I'm kind of in both camps but um obviously in this situation it's very much <laughs> warranted that we should very much prejudice against these demons because this just their nature their words to deceive us it's funny how every human in this universe believes these words except for um well free run is not a human that's the funny thing she's an elf so um yeah kind of it's, it's quite a funny commentary i think on uh on kind of our day and age everyone believing this uh this thing and they all kind of they're all gonna end up dying for it if free run wasn't here anyway but yeah looking forward to this again very interesting setup so far isn't it uh very interesting learning a bit more about these demons and their ways and such but so um yeah can't wait to see next episode uh let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back next week with episode eight which again sounds like it's going to be a banger so see you guys then Enjoy the rest of your day.